Hello, Slappy Food fans. Welcome to an impromptu Slappy Food review. Today we're doing Wiener Schnitzel. Ever been here before? Never. I'm sure, it's a question on everyone's mind. Why haven't I been to Wiener Schnitzel before? Well, uh, I don't know. I never went there as a kid, and there wasn't one nearby me uh, in my hometown. But um, on the way to the gas station, I just saw this Wiener Schnitzel and I thought, hey, what the heck? May as well have it today. I mean, I've never had it before. So let's, uh, I got a Polish sandwich, I think. I still feel like this isn't a receipt. And then I got a hot dog with mustard. I figure I'll just keep it simple. Um, review them for their staple, which is hot dogs. 100% beef, all beef. So they say. I don't know why it'd be anything less, but take a look at this. Take a look at this packaging. Pretty good, huh? Pretty good, eh? Wiener schnitzel. Uh, there's, a, there's an all beef thing there. They didn't push it down, which means this isn't all beef. Uh, I'm kidding, of course. No one ever labels like the sodas or the hot dogs. I guess hot dogs have their own labels in the boxes, hot dog box labels. I don't know, it's completely foreign and new to me. So, uh, first bite. Mmm. Mmm. It's good. What kind of beef do they use? Like, where's the where's the cut of meat from? How much did this cost? Four dollars. I mean, it's a little pricey for a hot dog. Mm mm mm. It's pretty good. It's not small either. It's a lovely day out today. Yeah, I don't have much to say. Um, it was good. I'm going to finish this one. I'm taking a turn on this channel from all the chicken sandwiches and now we're doing hot dogs. I was doing the music for a little while. The album is still coming. I'm still working on it. Much more slowly, but I'm still working on it. I haven't had as many days off in a row as I need to really, well, it's an excuse, but I haven't had enough time to sit down and work on a track for a few days in a row. That's true. Mm. It's pretty good. It's glistening. It's hot dog color. Hmm. It tastes good quality too. I'm impressed. I don't think it would be that good. Okay, then we got the Polish sandwich here. It's special. It's labeled as special. So it's gotta be special. What's uh Try this thing out. The bread's got a little crumbly stuff on it. Put the bag over. I just vacuumed my car. Mm. See that? The sandwich with a dog in it. Two, in fact. One cut down the middle. Is this rye bread? Oh, there's a pickle in there. It looks like cheese and mayo.
kind of weird combo. I don't know if the pickle works all that well. Pickle alarm. Good one off though, unexpectedly. Pickle detected. Pretty big one too. Is this rye bread? It smells like it. I thought rye was darker. What's that other type of bread? Maybe it's that other type. Mmm. Get some cheese and mustard in there now. No mayo, actually, thank God. Mm. Don't go for the sandwich unless this is your thing. I wonder what makes it Polish. It's like kielbasa. It tastes the same as the hot dog. Mmm. Well, have you ever craving a good hot dog? Wiener schnitzel? Not the worst place to go to. They got meatball sandwiches. They got shrimp po' boy sandwiches. And they have like Vietnamese sandwiches too. I don't know. They got a lot of different stuff here. Mmm. Well... I wasn't surprised with a hot dog. The sandwich is about what I expected. Sandwich is like a two out of five. It's kind of like, eh. Kind of wish I hadn't gotten it. Wish I'd gotten something else. I've never been here before. So. Yeah, don't get the uh, Polish sandwich unless you know it's uh, your thing. Because, uh. It's kind of underwhelming. Mm. Overall, give it three out of five slaps. See you next time.